necessity. Let me bring in Larry Schoenbach, who's a criminal defense attorney, to help me think this one through, because poor Larry's had to put in his uh, left uh, ear plug because of my screaming. I, I'm just beside myself with frustration. I was actually able to hear, even without the ear plug. <laughs> it was bleeding through, wasn't yeah. it? Well, g help me, bring me back off the ledge that I'm on right now. Um, I don't understand how Jonathan Meltz, as good an attorney as he is, mm -hmm. can make any logical argument based on stand your ground with a client like Damon Darling who's waving around an AK, an illegal AK, who's got a big old fat felony history and say that he's some law-abiding citizen doing a law-abiding thing. No, he's not a law-abiding citizen, but at the time that this shooting occurs, is he at the time abiding by the law? No, he's holding an illegal gun and, and he's a felon. And that will be the subject of a second trial and you can be guaranteed he will be convicted of that and he will go to prison. But the facts in this case have him holding a gun and he is a felon. Therefore, the envelope in which we need to all operate is mm -hmm. that he's acting lawfully on his front porch. He's not. He's a thug. He's a drug dealer. Well, and he's got and an drug AK dealer aren't next issues door in this case. to a baby. I understand. How is that law-abiding behavior? And this is the difficult process that defense lawyers go through. Difficult we, or impossible? No, difficult. Why not is it impossible. not impossible? Because we have to deal with the facts in a very finite, very narrow focus. And our job is to get the jury, even frankly, people like you, mm. normal citizens who are screaming for some retribution because there's a dead nine-year-old, and that should never happen. I'm not just looking to avenge little Shay Jenkins here. I'm looking to not give protection to dirtbags like Damon Darling. Well, dirtbags get the same rights as you and Not me. when they're acting illegally and, and being thugs and gangsters and holding AKs in their arms Absolutely. where kids play. And perhaps in a few hours... They don't hours, get those protections, do they, Larry? Well, Our law in Florida did not give him the stand your ground protection. That's correct. He had the obligation to retreat if he could. And he didn't. How do you by his run own from an AK-47? So no. How do you run from an AK-47? If He's you, holding the AK. No, no, no. If you believe that the person he's facing, this other shooter, Yellow Man, Leroy Yellow Rose. Man, Leroy, whoever. He didn't have an AK. He had well, a Mag-40. Okay. Mag-44. Okay. He had another weapon. It's very difficult, if not impossible, to retreat from a weapon, from a gun. Yeah. Okay? You can't outrun a bullet. But you, That's but, the but, argument. But then you know what? Isn't the argument that follows that? Well, too bad for you, stinker, because you don't have any other option since you're holding the AK. You don't have any other option. You don't get a magic pass to all of a sudden get a no, shot you don't out get a because magic you pass. have some kind of threat. You don't get a magic pass. You don't pass. get a magic pass. That's this what I'm trying why, to say in this no, case. I understand. No magic pass for Damon Darling. Absolutely. But this is why when you see the scales of justice, yeah. there's a blindfold on the on the woman holding the scales. Yeah, well, she's smart enough to know that thugs don't and get protection by old, loopholes. But so is the jury. Yeah, let's hope. Let's hope. And Juries I think, tend to find yeah, the right result. I think you're right on this one. I think the four men and the two women who've already been at this an hour and 45 are going to know damn well what gang warfare is all about and whether gang warfare should be allowed to actually create collateral damage like the likes we saw with little Shay Jenkins playing on her front porch. Uh, Beth Karras, got to leave it there for a moment. I know you're going to be watching this clock for us today, so we'll continue to check in with you, find out what this jury does, if anything, or, of course, if there's any result in all of this. So thank you to you, my, uh, my friend. Okay, and fine. also, we're going to move on because we've been following the other case in Mississippi that got underway this week as well. Carla Hughes, beautiful school teacher with a spotless record, facing down witnesses like this, police Police officers who involved in the investigation of her in a double homicide that landed her with two capital murder counts, no bail, and the threat of a death penalty. What did these cops have to say? You're going to find out in just a moment. Millions of cars are stolen every year, but on October 19th, that number and these thieves are going down. Actually, stealing a car that we put out there. What a stolen vehicle! The 
bait is set. We got you on video. There's a camera inside the truck. And the crooks are biting. Hurry up, dog. 